Hi everybody, welcome to Nerdx channel. Today I'll explain how you can control a server model like this one here using Nerdx and PWM signal. Before I start to explain how to configure the PWM and the board to, to get the server model working, I need to explain I need to explain a little bit how the PWM is used to control the server model. So basically we have a signal of 20 milliseconds periodically uh, be sending to the uh, to the server model and we change this pulse width uh, for example from one millisecond uh, the the handle of the server model will be totally to the left. If I send 1.5 millisecond, it will move 9 degree, 9 degree uh, from left to, to the right. And if I send 2 milliseconds uh, pulse, it will move again more 90 degrees to the right. So we have uh, like um, one 180 degrees control over the server model. So uh, if you if you have uh, 20 milliseconds uh, periodic signal, we need to uh, to find the frequency you need to send to the PWM. Uh, the frequency is one divided by by the period or by the time in this case one divided by 20 milliseconds is equal to 50 hertz so we need to configure our pwm to use 50 hertz to control this server model okay uh, basically that is the main idea to uh, to control the server model now we can start the configuration, open the Linux terminal, enter inside Nerex space, Nerex, execute make dist clean to clear previous configuration. Okay, now uh, we need to verify if our board has PWM support and it is already implemented for our board uh, and which pin it is used to, to pwm in our board uh, in our case we are using the board stm32 f4 discovery board then we can open you can see we have the pwm file here then we can open it and verify uh, which pin is used for PWM and which timer and so on. Uh, in this case, we are using the timer 4, channel 2, and the pin, the pin used to, uh, to PWM signal, to extend the PWM signal, is the P PD13. So, we need to configure the board to use uh, this configuration, this information. So we can execute tools, configure STM32 F4 cover NSA. We will start with the basic configuration and now we we need to enable the the timer and channel and PWM and so on. So, enter inside system type, move to STM32 peripheral support, and we need to enable the timer 4. Let's find it here. Okay, timer 4. Now we need to go to timer configuration here, and we need to enable timer 4 PWM support. Here we need to change the channel from 1 to channel 2. Here, sorry. 
and we need to enable the channel two output. Okay, now we can go to device drivers. Inside driver uh, timer driver support, we need to enable PWM driver support. Now we can exit, exit again, go to application configuration, example, and move to pulse with modulation here. Uh, as I explained, uh, the frequency uh, to control the server model is 50 Hz. So we can change it to 50, but we don't need, you don't need to do it if you don't want, uh, if you don't want to change here, because I will explain how you can pass this frequency to the application uh, directly, directly. But it's a good idea to, it's a good idea to change it here because we can pass less parameter to the application. And also here, the pulse duration, we can change it for one second. Uh, the dot cycle, we don't need to change. Let's keep it this way and I will show how you change the, the dot cycle in the application uh, when executing the application. Okay, now we can exit, save, and ex execute make to compile the source code. In my case, I will pass dash uh, j to compile it fast. So in less than six or seven seconds, it's already finished. Okay, now we can flash the firmware inside the board. Execute Ctrl R, open your CD in my case. If you don't have it, uh, save it in your history. You need to type it uh, again to, to flash the firmware inside the board. Uh, it's a good idea also to press reset and, and okay. Uh, sometimes the board don't like to rest, uh, to reset, so I need to press reset and and the, the OpenCD command. Okay, the firmware was flashed. Now I will explain how you can wire the uh, server motor in the board. The first thing we need to do is remove this uh, disconnector from the stepper motor because as you can see, it is glued together and we need to have individual pins so we need to get some uh, loose wires remove the connector from these uh, wires and we'll use it in our stepper motor Okay, uh, first we need to connect the brown air, this here, to GND, GND pin here. The red wire, we need to connect to five volts here. Okay. And the orange wire, we need to connect here to PD13. Here. And that's it. Also, you need to connect the uh, USB serial port, like I explained in other videos. Okay? That's it. Very nice. Now the server model is connected to the board. And we can execute minicon, reset the board, and let's see if the 
PWM device was created. Okay, PWM0 is here. Let's see if the application is also here. Okay, then we can get the information, the help about which parameters we can pass. So uh, we can pass the dead cycle. I will pass the dead cycle of 2%. The frequency of 50 Hz and the duration of one second. And very nice. Now I will use PWM, that's like 12%. Uh, as you remember, I, I saved the frequency to 50 Hz, so it's already defined here. And also, I define the duration of one second. So I don't need to pass these two parameters. I just need to pass the dead cycle. And okay, very nice. It worked as expected. Okay, that's it. I hope you had enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to Netex channel yet, please subscribe. And also click in the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.